What is up, everybody? It's time for some Gonti, Lord of Luxury. Hope you're ready. Ooh, where's this? You can get this down here, man. We're good. I don't need the hotkeys. But yeah, this is Gonti, Lord of Luxury, man. This is, uh, I had fun building him, man. This looks like a, uh, it seems like it's a pretty fun little deck that I've thrown together. And I want to shoot just, ooh, we got some Grinzo action. What's up, Grinzo? I can get behind that. But yeah, this is uh, actually the first game I've played with Gonti, like the first game. So, um, but that's like when new sets get released, man, th that's one of the things I like to do is just throw the deck together and just jump in there because usually what happens is I, um, if I try and practice, I end up with like a really good match and I didn't record it. So now I just like whenever I build a new deck, I just, uh, I just uh, sleeve it up and get get up and run it, man. So let's go and get this swamp down. We're going to pass the turn. But yes, we're playing Gonti, Lord of Luxury. Let's go and F6. Our opponent can do his thing. Uh, Death Touch. Whenever it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of target opponent's library. Exile one of them face down. Put the rest on the bottom. And then we may cast one of those exiled cards as though we had any mana. Uh, let's go ahead and get down Swamp. Um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go for a Sign in Blood right now. We'll have to chunk something, but we'll, we'll be okay. Um, yeah, if he's got goblins in here, I'm not sure, but we can still hold on to Doomblades. We'll probably just chunk a swamp, because that'll still put us online to get down Temple and the False God. So, uh, yeah, we'll make that work. And plus, Grey Merchant, yeah, we'll, we'll take that too. But yeah, we're playing against Grinzo. Enters the battlefield with uh, plus one plant, whatever many taps him out for, uh, plus one counters. And then for two colors mana, put the bottom card of your library in your graveyard. If it's a creature, creature card, power less than Grinzo, put it onto the battlefield. So, uh... My Grinzo deck is set up to where it's, uh, I have a Grinzo deck, and it's set up to where usually I get him out at a, uh, just for a straight-up cost of two, so. But it's always cool to see uh, decks that uh, take advantage of his power, so it's cool to see what he's got in there. But yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go for a flesh bag right now. I think I like that. Buy us a little bit of extra time. Yeah, let's go and go for a flesh bag. We're going to sack flesh bag, go to the graveyard, buddy. But yeah, as far as what's in the deck, this is, uh, man, this is like, okay, so we have a lot of stuff to, like, Conjurer's Clauses. So we have this in here to take advantage of his Enter the Battlefield trigger. And then we have other stuff to kind of, like, if we can sacrifice Gonti, get him into the graveyard, like, I have the Undying, one mana spell. Ooh, 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 Mogus. Hey, get that metal up, man. Mog Mogus, God of Metal. Hey, man, well, I've got a God to follow up with that, too. Um, so let's go ahead and get down Swamp. Let's go and get into some Erebos action. Yeah, I like that. And then with Erebos, yeah, so we have um, Into the Battlefield Trigger. It's a way to kind of amplify that out. We have the new card. I can't remember what it's called right now, but it starts with a P. Uh, we have that in here to take advantage of the Inner Battlefield. We stuff like Erratic Portal to where we can bounce Gaunti back to our hand and keep casting him. And uh, we also have some real janky black spells, man. We've got Army of the Damned in here, so get into 13, uh, <laughs> get into 13 uh, zombies. Flashback, I like that. <laughs> so if we get down Temple... Let's see. If we get down Temple, then we can go and get down Gonti, then get down Conjurer's Closet next turn. Yeah, let's go and do that. So let's get some Gonti action going. Oh, man, I always love casting Commander for the first time. Let's do it. Okay. We get to exile a card. We don't have any mountains, so we're probably going to go Wayfarer's Bobble. We'll take that. And we'll go and cast it. And it costs two to activate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll go and pass the turn. But yeah, so we have some janky spells with that. We have um, Army of the Damned. We also have, where is it, Dark Sun Zenith. We got a bunch of tutors in here. We've got Worst Fears. I'm pretty sure Worst Fears is where we get to take control of them for a turn. We have Temporal Extortion. Uh, take an extra turn unless they pay half their life. Um, what else do we got, man? Got a bunch of good shenanigans in here. We have a Hedonist Trove. Uh, we do have Chromantic Lantern in here, so if we can get into a Tutor into Chromantic Lantern and get into a Hedonist, uh, then we can... Uh, it exiles their graveyard. You know, we need them to get the graveyard up and running, but it's still an option. Okay, so we got Mogus Trigger right now. Drops down to 31. Also, on a side note, guys, I do have this deck list up on mtgotraders.com, so if you can check it out, go for it. So let's get down Swamp. So if we go Crick Rass, one, two, three, four, then that'll tap for six, and we can still get down Conjurer's Closet. But I may want to take out Steel Hellkite right now. <clears throat> so let's go, let's go Crypt Ghast. Now our lands are going to tap for, uh, we'll have six mana right here. 
Yeah, let's go and go for a Doom Blade on that Hail Kai. I mean, we can wait till well, we can wait till his turn, and then just wait for it. puts it on the battlefield. Yeah, so we can go and act. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and go for well, just in case he's got some type of something. I'm just gonna go and blast it. And then, well, yeah, we'll go and pay for that extort because we have nothing else to do. Get a, get a little hit on that Mogus trigger. Oh, sorry, guys. We could have swung it with Gonti right there. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, no, we. Yeah, I, I should have sequenced that better. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, this, like I said, this is my first game, so uh, I do apologize. But th yeah, that sh that, I should have swung in right there. But, uh, but yeah, man, th this seems like a really fun deck. Uh, I'm really happy to get it into my rotation, and I love this time of the year. You know, we get new sets every uh, four times a year, and uh, building new commanders is, man, it's just having a blast, man. It feels like, it's like Christmas. We get four Christmases every year as a Magic player, so. And usually what I like to do is I like to uh, pick two commanders from the new set and build a commander out of them. So we got some Gaunti action, and then uh, as far as the next deck, we might get a little Demolition Derby up and running. I'll kind of leave that up to you to decide what other deck I'm building, but yeah, picked up some cards for that. So let's go ahead and we'll crack this bobble. Grab a swamp, put it into play. Yeah, and I picked these swamps out because, man, that it just felt like it, uh, I don't know, it had a nice little color scheme right there. I like picking out basics, man. Um, no, we're, we're good, Mogus. I mean, you can go and blast that metal into our face, man. Ooh, damnation. It's good to get into. So let's go ahead and get into Conjurer's Closet right now. One, two, three, four. Oops. And then we'll have eight mana left over. Do we want to extort? Yeah, because we're not going to do any... Well, how much... Yeah, we can pay two life draw cards. So we've got one, two, three, four... Five. Eight, nine, we have nine mana. CDC, activate, Erebos twice. Yeah, I'm not going to do the extort right now. So we get in a Conjurer's Closet. And then let's go ahead and get down CDC. I'm not sure what we want to search up. Let's get, we got a lot of mana, so let's get into one of our janky wind conditions. Our janky spells. I'm not going to extort right there. We're going to exploit CDC. Okay, and then we're going to search our library. Let's see what we can into. You know, we can get into some worst fears. Um, yes, we'd love to use that ability. Okay. We could get into worst fears, but he's only got like three cards in his hand right now. Um, that's a little later in the game. We can get into some Army of the Damned. Yeah, I like that. Let's get into some Army of the Damned. We'll have more than enough mana to do that. And then we can... S no, we'll, we'll go and hold off. Oh, we need to... Um, if it would change... Okay, yeah, there we go. Need to make sure the with the enter the with this uh, trigger right here, you set it to... Uh, if it exiles, because if you don't have it set up correctly, it's just going to go to the command zone. And they'll come back up. There we go. Yeah, you got to set it up like that, if you're new to magic. <laughs> we get into double curve gas. Yeah, I'll take that. Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, let's get into Double Crypt Ghast. Okay. <laughs> Man, I'm loving this deck already. <laughs> and it's cool because, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think I have any combos in here, but you can get into a spot to where um, you can... Uh, <laughs> you can get into a spot where you can kind of mill them out a little bit. Like, just keep getting to enter the battlefield triggers. Tiger Huge Control deals damage equal to its power to each other creature and each opponent. Um, ooh, yeah, it's going to get it. Okay. Well, at least got backup Crypt Guest. <laughs> now, do we want to activate Erebos right now? Yeah, we can go and activate Erebos because we're going to get into some Army of the Damned. We have more than enough mana to do that, and we have Crypt Guest to get into that. No, well, we need to get down Crypt Guest. And that'll be one, two, we'll have eight mana. Which is actually just enough right there, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get into some... Uh, let's go ahead and fire this Erebos off real quick. I love just drawing cards, losing life, man. It's, ooh, a Resonator. Okay, let's go ahead and get down Swamp. Let's get Crypt Gas down. I'm sure he's thrilled we got that up and running. Uh, let's go ahead and go for an Army of the Damned right now.
And we have that Erebus trigger off the swamp right here, so no, we're not going to pay for that. I'd like to draw a card. 13 zombies. What's up, man? <laughs> and we do have flight. We can flash that back next turn if we want to. Um, no, we're not going to bounce anything. We're going to choose Crypt Ghast. And no, we'd not like to. There we go. But yeah, we're getting down to the wire a little bit. So we've got the Hoden right there. I like that this is, uh... This is, seems like a weird build for Grinzo. I mean, I guess it's got val It's just funny that it's got the the Hoden in there. Maybe it's just a one of. Well, you can only run two of them in there. We got a nice little zombie action. A flashback on that is a ten, and we'll have more than enough mana to flash it back next turn. Yeah, the, I love playing. This is why I love Commander right now. Just because we got a uh, army of the damned off. <laughs> Get into 13, uh, 13 two, 2 zombies, man. That, that's good right there. Okay, so she gets it on Chandra. Deals 1 damage to target player. Deals X damage to target creature. Okay, so he takes out the Crypt Gas. Fair enough, man. But as far as mana goes, 1, 2... We're looking at 8 mana. Not too bad. Oh, dang it. Sorry, guys. I should activate Airbus right there. Okay, so we got Mogus coming in hot. Well, plus, we may have not wanted to activate... Uh, Activated the Airbus. We were down to 10 life. Um, let's, yeah, we'll go and sacrifice a creature. 10's getting a little, getting a little hairy right there. Okay, Magius of the Coffers. Let's get, uh, let's get Gonti up there. Okay, our Devotion, if we get down to Great Merchant, it's not that good right now. So let's go ahead and swing in at Chandra. So we need to send in at least three zombies. He's only got one land up, yeah. We need to send at least three. That'll take care of Chandra. Make sure that Chandra... I love that these, there's a random zombie in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess those are all from, from the set. I like that they have a, a nice little mix of zombies in there. That's pretty cool. I wish so bad that c you could choose your own tokens on Magic Online. Man, that would... Uh, I mean, it's to me, that seems like it would be a pretty simple thing to do. But, you know, they've got a lot of stuff to do, and they'd be really low priority on what they need to do. Okay, so he activates Ghoul Caller. Not the end of the world. He's going to trade right there, trade right there. And we'll still have, uh, still got nine zombies to block, so... And we've got one, two, we have nine mana, and flashback is ten. Gonti's going to cost six. Let's get into some Gonti that way. If we want to get into Grey Merchant, yeah, let's do that. So let's get into Gonti. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Okay. Ooh, ooh, Grave Titan. Yeah, I want to get into some Grave Titan action. I think I want to do that. Yep, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> and then we have two mana up. Let's go get down the uh, Resonator. That way, next turn we can cast a Grey Merchant. And then, yeah, we can amplify that out. Okay, good. We're good. Oop. Exile Zone, not Command Zone. Okay, just make sure it stays set right there. Okay, we get a look at another four. I think, man, I think we want to get into some uh, Chandra right there. I, I like that. Okay, yeah, then we'll go and pass the turn. All right, so now our opponent can activate Ghoul Caller and get into some zombies if he wants to. But we need to get around. Yeah, we can get down Grey Merchant next turn and copy with strat uh, the Resonator. That'll be one, two, three, uh, four, five, and that'll actually turn on uh, Erebos right there. So we'll gain 10 life, go to 19. Our opponent will go to 29. Yeah, I like that. That'll be good. And then we can also start bouncing it with Conjurer's Closet at the end of the turn to get into a little bit of extra life right there. And then when it comes back in, yeah, we should have enough mana. No, we can only activate it once. Okay, so we got the Chandra fired up right now. Hopefully this isn't a board wipe or something. But we do have Damnation if he gets into something too silly over there. And we do have flashback coming out of the graveyard, so. It's tapping for six. Oh, we got we got Grinzo coming in hot. Oh, what's up, Grinzo? Okay, I like that play a lot. 
And if he swings in right now, this is kind of putting us in a weird spot. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I will take that. Read the bones. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some Grey Merchant. We got one, two, three, four, five. And then let's copy that right there. That'll be 10 right there. Okay. And then we can swing in with Erebos. It has Indestructible. We want to hold off. Because you can sacrifice Grinzo, get into more zombies. And that'll be uh, four more zombies. That'll be eight. We still have enough to block right there if he does that. Yeah, let's go ahead and swing in at uh, Chandra. Kind of knock her out. But yeah, this yeah this is the first game I played. See, this is why I like to record it because this is, um, you know, I, I made a few mistakes earlier, but it seems like a pretty fun deck so far. And uh, with two mana, yeah, we're okay. Let's go and exile the Grey Merchant. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is fun, man. So as far as if we get into like a um, what we can do next turn, yeah, we're gonna use this ability. Get into Grey Merchant. There we go. Now we're almost even now. Get ahead of that uh, that Hoden over there. And really, if we want to, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still have nine mana. So if we get into one more swamp, we can just flash back Army of the Damned and just keep bouncing Grey Merchant to kind of close the game out. And then swinging in with uh, Erebos to kind of start whittling him down. <laughs> okay, takes that Grey Merchant. I understand that, man. But we can get into Chandra. Ooh, Whispering One. Okay. I'm liking this. This is a fun little game so far. So we can get into Chandra. And we can copy something. If we get into Grave Titan, we'll get into some extra zombies. But hopefully if we hit into a land to get around that uh, the Whispering One, telling us to sacrifice a creature, we may go ahead and uh, sacrifice... Uh, we may flash back that Army of the Damned. Strip Mine, yeah, I'll take that. And I think that's the play we want to do right now. Because just 13 13 zombies is just going to be almost near unbeatable. I mean, not unbeatable. It can be beaten. <laughs> Let me say that. It can be beaten. But I like where it puts us getting into 13 more zombies. And then next turn we can do a little uh, digging around. I'm sorry we want to get going on over there. Now he's going to have... It has Swamp Walk so he can swing in for 6 right there. We're at 22. Yeah, I don't really want to swing in right now. Not feeling that. Let's go and bounce Gonti. See if we can't flip something right there. What? Well, hmm. Yeah, let's go and grab a little fortune. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Beats nothing. All right, let's see who's going to sacrifice right now. Let's see if it's the Whispering One. <laughs> but we can, though, as far as the next turn goes, we can get on Chandra, minus her. Wait, what did, uh, what did he just sacrifice? Ooh, got the Hellkite coming in. <laughs> Nasty, man. We do have Damnation, so we can blow this whole board up if we need to. And then we can cast Grave Titan. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so we can Damnation and get into Grave Titan. We may go for that. Just kind of get all of this under control, take care of the Ghoul Caller, the, the Whispering One, take care of all those shenanigans. He's only got two cards in hand. And then we can start digging some cards. And then we'll have... Uh, Gonti's going to cost 8, so we can get down Gonti again and get into more... Cl yeah, we'll probably go for a Damnation next turn, followed up by a Grave Titan that we took out of there. <laughs> I'm loving this guy's deck, man. Molten Primordial. Gain control of target creature. Untap those creatures, they gain haste. Alright, he's going to grab some Gonti action. Yeah, we're definitely going for a Damnation next turn. 
<laughs> so we have eight blockers right now. He has seven zombies coming in. Uh, Swamp Walk for six is going to put us down at 14. Um, there's haste right there. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. And then we'll just, since we're going to Damnation next turn, we'll just go ahead and block right there. Wait, did he activate Chandra? And Chandra can deal one damage to target player. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on the block right there. Because he's only coming in for 8, that'll put us in at 12. And then I don't think he activated Chandra right there. So if we block on that, and then he minuses uh, Chandra, deals one damage. Yeah, he can minus Chandra for one and take our commander out. But we're going to Damnation. Yeah, I should have blocked right there, because we have Damnation coming in. It wouldn't really matter. But maybe we get into, like, an Undying next turn or something like that. Because I do have that spell in here. I think it's... It's like one black man, and it's called Undying. Yeah, Undying Evil. So we happen to draw into, like, an Undying Evil or something like that. So let's go ahead and sack the uh, Zombie Token. Ooh. Okay, so that costs six, and we can damnation. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll bring Gonti back, and we'll get another trigger. Or do we want to cast a Grave Titan? I think I like where Grave Titan gets us. I mean, we get into one more Gonti trigger, but um, I think I like getting down Grave Titan after the damnation. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go. We got Temple. So fire this damnation off, and then we'll get into some Grave Titan to follow that up. <laughs> Grave Titan coming in hot, and then we can bounce the Grave Titan at the end of our turn. <laughs> Nasty! I love it! <laughs> yeah, if we had enough mana, we could copy that. So we're going to bounce this Grave Titan. Oh, yes, yes, there we go. Looking beautiful over there. So we got 6 coming across right there. Uh, 10, 14 coming across. All right, so we got Chandra getting fired up. Now, if we get into um, the on Hollow, that'll turn on Devotion for Erebos. So we can swing it for 5, 11. That'll be 19. Put him down to 5. Then we get into Chandra... Still one damage to him. Oh, Grinzo's coming out, man. He said, hey, we must defend this fort. All right, Grinzo. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and... Um, so we need to get down the Unhollow to turn on Devotion. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now there are three threes. So we got six, seven... 6, 9, 12, 19, yeah, so he's going to have to block somewhere if we swing in hot, coming across all. Alright, so they're coming in hot right now, get two more undying zombies. Alright, close it out. Alright, that was a nice little match right there. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks guys.